How to improve your prayer life. Prayer. The first step to improving your prayer life is knowing what prayer is. Because if you don't know, then you won't be able to make the most out of your time. Prayer is the practice of communicating with God. Prayer is your lifeline. Prayer is not reserved for occasions. It is a dire need and a great necessity for your everyday living. Dr. Miles Monroe once said, The purpose of prayer is not to inform God of our plans, but to align ourselves with His. The true power of prayer is found in the alignment of your spirit with the heart of God. Ways to improve your prayer life. Set aside regular prayer times. As believers, creating time for the Holy Spirit is key. Being consistent throughout our faith walk makes a difference. When we dedicate specific times of our day for prayer, we are able to stay focused. Morning, evening, or both are common times, but choose what works best for your schedule. Create a quiet, distraction-free area in your home where you can focus on your prayers. If you have a prayer closet, it can help set the tone and prepare your mind for prayer or you can choose a specific room or area where you can spend time with the Lord. Incorporating Bible verses as you pray can help you immensely. The book of Psalms, for example, is filled with prayers and hymns that can help as you take the time to pray. Prayer journal. Writing down your prayers, thoughts, and the things you're thankful for can be a powerful way to reflect on your relationship with God and it helps in seeing how your prayers are answered over time. Pray with others. Joining a prayer group or praying with friends and family can strengthen your faith and provide you with support. Being united in prayer really makes a difference because two are better than one. Practice silence and listening. Prayer is not just about talking to God. It's also about listening. Spend part of your prayer time in silence, being open to what God might be saying to you. So often we speak more than we listen, but when we make room to hear from God, it will make our relationship with God more stronger. Attend church regularly. Participating in corporate worship and prayer can reinforce your personal prayer life. The teaching and community support are invaluable for our spiritual growth as believers. Also, fasting and prayer can aid immensely in drawing closer to God. Reading books on prayer by Christian authors can provide new insights and inspire you to deepen your prayer life but most importantly, spend time in the Word of God. Be patient and persistent. Spiritual growth is a journey. We are all running this race with grace on our side. There will be ups and downs, but perseverance is key. Remember, prayer is about building a relationship with God, not achieving perfection. The Holy Spirit is your helper in every season. Don't give up. Keep on trying and continue to seek the Lord in all your ways. The value of prayer is not in the outcome, but in the process. Prayer is not a tool for making things easier. It's a pathway to understanding God's will. Prayer is not just for requesting things from God but for aligning ourselves with his purpose and empowering us to carry out his will on earth. Dr. Miles Monroe. So here are a few Bible verses to encourage you in regards to prayer. Do not be anxious about anything, 
but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Matthew chapter 6, verses 6. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians chapter 4, verses 2. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who acts receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Luke chapter 11 verses 9 through 10. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. John chapter 15 verses 7. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29 verses 12. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you, King of Glory, for who you are. We thank you, O God, for the gift of your presence. We thank you, Abba Father, that we can come to you. Knowing that, Father, you await us with open arms. Father, Lord, even as we come before you, Lord, we repent of all our sins, of anything in which we have said, anything in which we have done, anything, O God, that was not pleasing unto you. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask, O God, that you will create in us a clean heart, Lord, that you will make us more like you, Jesus. Father, as we come before you, we thank you for the power of your word. We thank you, God, that, Lord, we can depend on you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are our helper. That in times when we are weak, that your power is made strong. Your power is made available unto us, God. Father, as we come before you, we ask that you will breathe afresh upon us, O God. As your word reminds us in Psalm 42, that as the deer pants for streams of living water, so our soul pants for you, Heavenly Father, as we come before you. We ask, O oh God, for a deeper hunger, God. We ask, O oh God, that you will open our eyes, O oh God, to the distractions around us. Anything that, Lord, hinders us from drawing closer unto you, Lord Jesus. Anything that, Lord, we have put as a variety, O oh God, where you need to be seated. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will make us aware of it, Lord Jesus. For we ought not to put other things before you, as your word reminds us in Matthew 6, verses 33, that we should seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things will be added unto us. And so, Spirit of the living God, we are asking that you will have your way in us. We ask, O oh God, that you will draw us ever close to your presence, God, that you will teach us more of you, Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you for your word because your word is active. Your word has power. Your word is alive, O oh God. And so, Father, Lord, we are asking that you will draw us closer unto your presence, God. Father, Lord, as your word reminds us in Joshua chapter 1, verses 8, reminding us, O oh God, to meditate on your word day and night. We're asking, O oh God, that, Father, you will help us because we acknowledge that, Lord, there are moments and there are times where we allow things, you know, to take over instead of you having your way in us, Lord Jesus. And so, Father, we're asking for your grace because lord we admit that we cannot do anything on our own and we need you holy spirit 
every step of the way. And so, Father, we ask that you will even teach us how to pray, God. Father, Lord, I thank you for your word. We thank you because we have this gift. We thank you, oh God, that we get this privilege to come into your presence, God. We thank you, Abba Father, because you alone are the greatest teacher and we fix our gaze on you we call upon you because your word tells us that we should call upon you and when we call upon you the father you answer and so father here we are oh god we will present ourselves as a living sacrifice king of glory and we ask that you will have your way yes that you will rid us of anything that lord is not of you anything that lord does not represent you any idols that lord we have placed before you anything that lord we have set as priorities oh god father we are asking oh god that you will show forth your mercy god we are asking oh god that lord you will create a deeper hunger oh god within us that we will be able to experience you that we will be able to account encounter you afresh god father lord we thank you for the gift of your presence we thank you lord jesus because your desire is for us to draw closer unto you to know you oh god even more and so lord we thank you the lord even as we have presented ourselves unto you lord jesus that you will continue to teach us your ways and that you'll continue to make us more like you god father we're asking that you will breathe afresh god as you breathe afresh oh god from the very beginning oh god and created man oh god father we come before you once again as your children and we ask the lord that you will have your way in us oh god father lord we ask in oh lord that you will make us sensitive to your spirit oh god the holy spirit we will not miss what you are saying we will not miss what you are doing that we will be present oh god in your presence lord father god we thank you we thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing, what you have started, and that which you will bring to completion, God. Holy Spirit, we ask, O oh God, for the grace that we will build up, O oh God, in our prayer life, Lord Jesus, that we will seek you more than we have ever sought you, O oh God, that the more we seek you, the more we will know you. I thank you for your word, O oh God, that reminds us, O oh God, in John chapter 15, that you are the vine and we are the branches, God. You you remind us, O oh God, that if we remain in you, yes, if we remain in you, O oh God, yes, we will be more fruitful, Lord. And so, Father, Lord, we just want to say thank you. We're asking that, Lord, you will prune us, yes, that in any branch, anything that lives within us, oh God, anything that surrounds us, oh God, that is not of you. We give you the permission, Holy Spirit, that you will begin to uproot, that you will do that which only you alone can do. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the gift of your presence. We thank you for this privilege that we get to call you Father. We thank you for this privilege to know that you are our Heavenly Father. You are our Savior. You are everything, oh God, that we need. Father, Lord, we just want to say thank you. We thank you that we get this privilege. We get this honor. We get this opportunity to honor you to have a relationship with you oh god and so holy spirit we ask that you will help us for you alone are our ebenezer and we need you every step of the way we thank you king of glory we give you all the glory and we give you the honor that which is due to your holy name in jesus mighty name that we have asked this and prayed with thanksgiving Amen and Amen. So until next time, remember always to stay rooted in Christ. Stay connected to the vine. Stay connected to your Heavenly Father. Run to the arms of grace. To the one that is waiting for you. The one that never leaves you, never forsakes you to the one that has a plan for you. His name is Jesus. And his name will forever 
be because he is the same yesterday today and forever god bless you and until next time remember that jesus loves you